everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this lesson, we are exploring these two G runs that I just played, how to play them, why they're different, but better yet, how we can use what we learned today to start building a few crucial building blocks that we can use to start playing solos and breaks or whatever you want to call them on our guitar. So stick with me in this lesson. Let's dive right into it. The normal, what we'll call the normal G run, and a more bluesy G run, right? One that sounds a little bit more grittier, right? Sounds like this. Okay, so the big difference here is that instead of pulling off on our D string on the second fret, right? So one, right here, right? We're doing the exact same thing, but we're just doing it on the third fret of the D string, and then we're playing that G uh, string open, right? So it would sound like this, all right? And that gives it a much more bluesy sound. But before you click off the video here, let's dive a little bit deeper into these licks, okay? Because I've noticed going back on my videos and I'm playing these differently each time, but we're not always all about perfection on this channel. And I think playing licks differently, uh, depending on the song or your mood or whatever, is just what I like about music, right? So let's kind of dig deep into this one, the first normal G run, right? So it sounds like this. I would say this is the classic sound of the G run. Let me know in the comments what you think. But effectively, we've got this, uh, we've got this line here. Pull off right there, ending with that open G, okay? Now, there are subtle things that we can do to it to make it sound a little bit different, all right? So, for example, we can sort of not play that last pull off at all. So, it might sound like this, right? Okay, and it just depends on the song where that might sound appropriate in, all right? And as far as just, you know, picking through the lick in general, we can pick as many times as we want so long that it fits into the song or, or whatever we're doing, right? So right here at the beginning of the lick, there's another sort of nuance that we can peel apart, right? Because really this is supposed to be played, uh, you're playing an open on your A string and then in like one felt swoop, you're going slide from your you know, open into one and two, right? So it sh you know, classically sounds like this, okay? But you can pick through that if you so choose, right? So it might come out sounding like this. You know, and it just all depends on the song. There's no right or wrong way, but it's all about, you know, the timing and the feel and playing what feels right, but also what is exciting and fun to you. So on to the second G run, right? The more bluesy G run. Like I said earlier, we can do the exact same thing uh, but apply it to a pull off on the third fret of right here, the D string, so we can play it. Again, we can throw in some variations there as we see fit. Right? Again, it all just depends, okay? So if you have any questions about those G runs or if you'd like me to slow them down a bit more, just uh, let me know in the comment section. Uh, but before I wrap up this uh, very quick and simple lesson today, let me talk about what I just mentioned and how you can kind of start playing around, like I said at the beginning of the video, really building some fundamental blocks to which to start soloing on, all right? So having explained, you know, the bluesy sound of this pull off on the, on the D string and then kind of the normal sounding, if you will, uh, pulling off here on the D string of the second fret, um, if you kind of start playing around on the D and G strings of those two positions, right? We'll start here, we'll put a line in the edit right there on the second fret. Um, you're going to get more of like a very uppity, lively sounding uh, licks or solos, whatever you're trying to pick around. So let me kind of show you what I mean by that. So these are both in the key of G. Let me just strum a G chord and I'm going to play just the notes on uh, the second fret of the D and the G string and the open, right? So I'm just kind of going, right? Maybe I'll just play that series of notes, right? Okay, so that sounds very lively, upbeat. You kind of want to go frolic in a meadow or something like that, okay? So let me play the exact same thing, but instead of playing it here on the second fret, put another line, I'm gonna play it 
right here um, on the third fret, just the D and the G strings, uh, same fingering, but just up one fret, basically, all right? Let's give this a go. you can see it sounds a bit meaner right it sounds like this might be uh, in like a smoky bar room or somewhere where you're playing billiards or uh, you know drinking cheap beer or something like that and so when you get into that mindset and you sort of start learning different scales right which we might get into on this channel um, then your playing is gonna make a lot more sense right you're gonna be able to switch between um, these bluesy sort of uh, solos and then something that might sound more melodic, you know, as I played before. Alright, so I uh, hope that helps guys. Let me know in the comments of any topics you might be interested in. And until next time, adios!